be showing you my three favorite barbecue sauces that will elevate your summer or year round depending on when you are watching this. So let's go. I don't know about you, but I am 100% a sauce girl. Whether I am dipping something in sauce or I am spreading it on a burger, it does not matter if sauce is involved. I want it and I want a lot of it. So let me know in the comments if you are also the same. So the first sauce that I am going to be showing you is just a classic barbecue sauce, but I promise you, once you make this the first time, you will never want another store-bought barbecue sauce in a bottle ever again. We're going to start by adding olive oil into a pot over medium heat. Then you're going to add in garlic and saute that for about a minute or so, and then we're going to add all of our other ingredients starting with ketchup. Some brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, vegan Worcestershire sauce, liquid smoke and maple syrup, our spices, some lemon juice, and then we're going to stir that together until everything is very well combined. You can absolutely use this sauce right away. However, what we really like to do is to allow them to simmer together and really enhance all of the flavors and let them marry together in a little bath. And it really enhances all the flavors that you are going to get out of it. However, I do also want to share a tip that if you don't want to cook this at all, like skip the entire pot process, you can sub the garlic clove for a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder and just skip the oil also and mix that all in a bowl or in a jar, whisk it until it's all well combined and then you just skip the entire cooking process, which is also a win. It still tastes really, really amazing. The next barbecue sauce that I'm going to show you is a combination that you may have never thought of before if you haven't had it inside of a restaurant, but I am just going to need you to trust me on this one. We are going to be making a blueberry barbecue sauce. The sweetness from the blueberries mixed with the savoriness of the barbecue sauce just does something absolutely amazing that if you have never tried it before, you absolutely have to try it at least once. We're planning to keep this one super, super simple. So the recipe is exactly the same as the recipe from the first one we just showed you, we are just going to be adding blueberries in at the same time that we add everything else after cooking the garlic. So again, we're starting with our oil and sauteing our garlic. We are going to blend this one so your garlic doesn't have to be minced, but just roughly chopped. Then in with our other ingredients. We do prefer a low sodium ketchup so we can control the salt levels. And the spices we're using for both of these recipes are onion powder, chili powder, paprika, salt, and pepper. And then for this one, we'll be adding those two cups of blueberries as well. You can use fresh or frozen blueberries. I like to use fresh ones that are a little bit softer than what I like to pop into my mouth. Um, this is a great way to use them up instead of letting them go bad and then having to toss them in the trash or the compost depending on what you do at your house. And then stir well. This one you do want to let cook down for those 20 minutes or so in order to allow those blueberries to fully develop their flavor. The biggest difference in this recipe versus the first recipe is that we now need to blend all of our ingredients together to make sure that we have a smooth consistency and we don't have chunks of blueberries inside of our sauce. We do find this is best if you use it inside of a high speed blender. However, if you do not have one, no worries. Get it as smooth as you can. However, if there's any chunks or blueberry skin that remains, you can just run this through a sieve and then you will have a really smooth consistency without any worries about those chunky pieces. The last barbecue sauce recipe I have for you today is another sweet and savory combo. However, this one has a little bit of a twist. We are going to be making a peach barbecue sauce. Again, if you have never tried this one, it is an absolute must try. You do want to opt for fresh in season peaches if you have them or if it's in season. I'm talking about the ones where like you take a bite and like the juice just drips down your arms. Those are gonna be the absolute best ones for this recipe. However, it will work with frozen peaches or just peaches that you grab year round from the store if that's all that you can get your hands on. Again, our base is ketchup for this barbecue sauce. This time, not saute in our garlic first and in with apple cider vinegar, maple syrup, vegan Worcestershire sauce, lemon juice, and spices. This time we'll be subbing smoked paprika for regular and adding dry mustard and those juicy peaches. Now I did say we were going to be adding a little bit of twist to this sweet and savory combination. That twist is that we are going to kick up the spice level a little bit by adding a habanero pepper. Now we are adding the whole thing in. We're just gonna drop it into our sauce and then continue with the recipe. 
This makes sure that it is a little bit of a kick, but not so much that like my kids won't eat this recipe. Um, it's just a little bit of a spice level that really balances out the sweetness and the savoriness from all the other ingredients and makes it really, really nice. However, if you do like things a little bit spicier, you can slice off a piece of the pepper um, when you are blending and allow it to continue to blend inside of there. Or if you like a lot of spice, you can do more. That is completely up to you. However, if you just want a little bit of a kick, then just drop it in there and before we blend, we're gonna pull it out. So pop that in and then we're going to stir everything together well. Allow this to cook again for about 20 minutes and then you're going to remove that pepper and after that, everything into the blender and blend until very well combined. Just a couple of frequently asked questions that we get about our sauces. So these will all be stored in the fridge inside of an airtight container. We prefer like mason jars that have lids that tighten. Um, they will be good for about two weeks. Also, as far as allergens go, these are all very allergen friendly. Now, depending on the vegan Worcestershire sauce that you find, it may have gluten inside of it. If that's the case, then you can swap this out with like an A1 steak sauce. It has a very similar flavor profile without having any gluten inside of it. And and it's vegan friendly. For the first two recipes, there is oil inside of them. So for our oil-free friends, if you would prefer not to have oil inside of those two recipes, then you can just swap that and cook your garlic inside of a little bit of vegetable stock, or you can do the tip that we showed in recipe one, which was just swap the garlic for garlic powder, and then just skip that whole oil cooking, garlic cooking in the oil process entirely. That's how easy it is to make three delicious vegan barbecue sauces that will keep you going all summer long. All the recipes are linked in the description or at our website, makeitdairyfree.com. Give all three a try and let me know which one is your favorite. Hope you enjoy, bye.